Hello, my name is Gregor Zerk. I'm from uh, Estonia, uh, Tartu, but right now we're in Tallinn, uh, which is the capital. I'm 24 years old. My main strokes are butterfly and freestyle. At the Doha World Champs, I just qualified for the Olympic Games in the 200 meter butterfly. I'm more like a middle distance swimmer rather than a sprinter or long distance, but time to time I do the 800, for example, and the hundreds. And I hope uh, you enjoy the week with me in, uh, in this amazing uh, Tallinn pool in Kalev Spa. Open the locker. <laughs> oh, God. Who's this? One. In this video, I'm not going to show you just one session, but an entire week of world-class swimming training from an Olympian and a world championship finalist, Craig Ozerk. This was his first session on the Monday morning that had a few bursts of speed and was mostly aerobic work. After the World Championships, Craig had a bit of a restful week and this was the first week of getting back into the swing of things before an altitude training camp in Flagstaff. This was his second session on the first day of training, so the Monday and night, and after a bit of speed and warm up, he went two rounds of 550s descend, where he was descending from about a 200 stroke rate to a 100 stroke rate. After that, there was a lengthy warm down touching threshold but mostly being aerobic using a range of equipment. Here we can see one of the 50s, I think this was the penultimate 50 from Craigor, where he's using the snorkel. Even though he races 200 butterfly which does involve breathing, for these sort of sets he does like wearing the snorkel which just allows him to get the body alignment right and really focus on what he's doing with the stroke and the distance per stroke. You can see he's getting a really nice catch there and he's got good rhythm set in on his tempo. This was the final 50 and I really like this shot actually where we're above him with the GoPro. You can see he really works the underwater and this was a 26 8 I'm pretty sure. Maybe quicker but look how easy it is. Look how long his stroke is, how efficient and this is, comes from a lot of work. He is using a tempo trainer. Craigor's stroke rate was set to 52 on this 50 and this was all about quality. The 50s were on 120 which gave Craigor the rest he needed to execute all the perfect details for great quality swimming. And he finished off with a couple of dive efforts, one without fins, one with fins. And again, like if you watch this, it doesn't look as fast as it is because of how efficient and effective he is. He's nice for the breakout, but he's staying easy on the breaths look. This is more of a hundred tempo, breathing every two. And this was a 24-5 long course. Like that's really quick. It was a really good first day of training and set up the second day, which was more threshold and aerobic orientated. After a higher intensity on Monday night, Tuesday morning was a much more relaxed affair. The majority was kicking, low level kicking and in a range of positions, some on the front, some on the back, some fly kick with the board like he's doing here. And between each block of kicking was some sprints, some speed play. And the speed play was non-specific, it was very general, things like breaststroke arms, freestyle legs and just get him to touch the speed. The most notable thing in the whole session was this 50 here with the finger paddles and the fins. That was like a 100 pace effort from the push and Craig was very good here, sitting very high in the water. He really likes the finger paddles. He doesn't always go with the big paddles. It's a you know, slightly elevated feel, but with not as much strength or pressure and you can have a little bit more stroke rate. This was a pretty good swim. I think it was 23.5. 23.5. Session three, done. This is red seven, fastest 50. Two, one, fastest 50. From session four and onwards, we were joined by some swimmers from the local swimming club. The first session they'd done with us was a threshold session where they'd done freestyle pull and IM. The freestyle pull was always aerobic, nothing more, but they contrasted it with some 200 IMs. The 200 IMs descended in rounds, four at one speed, 
three a little stronger, two a little harder, before going a harder but not all out effort on the final 200 IM. Here is Craigor's last 200 IM. I'm going to show you the highlights. First of all, he starts off very relaxed on the butterfly. This is his strongest stroke. Here's a 200 fly swimmer, 155.4. Then his backstroke, which, fun fact, he used to be an Estonian record holder, short course in it. Then breaststroke, which uh, I don't have to explain to you is his weakest stroke, and he does do the butterfly legs in training. Before moving on to the freestyle, which is, again, one of his better strokes. He's an Olympic semi-finalist in the 200 freestyle with a PB of 146.1. He finished in, well, I'll let me say. 221.2. 2.22.7. Nice. Coach Tom Rushton named this session Skills and Floating, which was by far the easiest session of the week. As we can see, just some nice drilling and some easy swimming from Craigor. But he did go straight from a VO2 max test to this easy session. I'm pretty sure he scored 64 on the VO2 max test. Thursday morning was another aerobic session, but this time focused around pulling. It finished off with a drill progression where you used only one paddle and one fin, starting with the pin, fin and the paddle on opposite sides, then having them on the both sides. This really forces good connection through the stroke and great posture, and you can really find the connection between the kick and entering in that glide phase of the hand and the catch. Fourteen, last one. Let's see if we can get it closer to ten. Two, one. Thursday night was deceivingly hard. It was another threshold session, but this time instead of being medley, it was done as a series of hundreds that were 25 fly, 53 and 25 fly. Round one was just one of these hundreds off 120 before an easy hundred on two minutes. Then we had two of these hundreds and then an easy hundred, then three hundreds and finally on the last round, four hundreds in a row. They found it quite disruptive switching between the easy and the threshold hundreds as well as the strokes, but they really did get their heart rate up and work really hard. I had the breaststrokers do a breaststroke variation instead of butterfly. Here's Craig Ogg finishing the 10th threshold 100. 5-3. 8-1. Nice job, boys. This session would normally have been done Friday night, but because of Craig or traveling, we'd done this Friday morning and skipped the setup session he'd have normally done. This session had two elements. First of all, there was a green section, a sprint section, where they'd done various sprints with from various positions. They used resistance with the loofers and the paddles, and they'd done some turns, they'd done some dead starts, they'd done some finishes, and they just got the speed firing before the main set. The main set was two rounds of 850s that were distance per stroke orientated, where instead of swimming 50s every single time, they added a stroke cycle so that the final 50 of each round would be a full 50. What this does a brilliant job at is really forcing you to swim exactly like you would in a 200 race. I see so many people do 200 race pace but go way faster with a higher stroke rate and they feel great because they're going times that would be way quicker than they won't in a 200 meter race. But the whole point of 200 race pace is to do just that, the tempo, the stroke count, the kick count. And this set really delivers on that as well as giving you one time 50 at the end. 26-4, While you enjoy watching the last Fast 50 of this world-class training week, I just want to say if you do enjoy this video and want to see more content like it, please do take the time to subscribe to this channel. And if you like this individual one, leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite set was and which set you would like to do of the eight that Craig or the gang done this week. Thanks again for watching. Enjoy this 50. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.